Let's learn about house sparrows and the negative effect they have on our cavity nesting birds in North America and elsewhere. What is a house sparrow? The house sparrow is an old world songbird, also known as the English sparrow. It is native to Europe, Northern Africa, and most of Asia. Although house sparrows are called sparrows, they are not members of the New World sparrow family. They are members of an Old World family. They shouldn't be confused with the many kinds of native sparrows found in North America. House sparrows will nest in almost any cavity or crevice they can find. They will nest in woodpecker cavities or use mud nests of swallows. They sometimes build nests in the branches of trees. They especially are attracted to crevices in buildings and other man-made structures. And of course, they like to nest in nest boxes. How do you identify house sparrows? As you can see, house sparrows are small gray birds. They're about six inches long with a short, thick bill that is specialized for cracking seeds. The male and female do not look alike. The breeding male has a chestnut head with a gray crown, white cheeks, and a black bib. The female has a buffy gray head with a tan eye line. Both have gray undersides and brown backs. Non-breeding males lack the large black bib and chestnut head. Juvenile house sparrows look similar to females. Why are house sparrows an invasive species where they've been introduced? House sparrows have been introduced in North and South America, Australia, New Zealand, Southern Africa, and elsewhere. Where they are introduced, they often outcompete native cavity and nesting birds. They reproduce quickly and spread aggressively. They are not a protected species in North America where they can be legally eliminated. Where they are introduced, they are not protected and you can legally remove their nests, eggs, and young. In comparison, native birds are protected and you cannot harm them or their nests. How do they outcompete native cavity nesting birds? House sparrows are very aggressive and persistent and are almost always successful at evicting birds of their size and larger from their nesting cavities. The local house sparrow population is often so large that they outnumber native cavity nesting birds. The native birds are relatively defenseless against the aggressive nature of the house sparrow as they did not evolve together. Bluebirds, tree swallows, and purple martins are especially vulnerable to house sparrow aggression. The house sparrow will trap an adult bird in a nesting cavity and use its strong bill to kill the trapped bird. When a male house sparrow chooses a cavity to use, it will destroy the eggs, the young, and even adults of the native birds using the cavity. They even compete with each other and will destroy other house sparrow eggs and young. They use their bill to peck, injure, or even kill their competition. Once a site is acquired, they may build a nest on top of existing eggs or young of their competition. They begin nesting before migrants arrive on their breeding grounds and hence prevent them from nesting successfully. They are able to evict birds as large as purple martins from their nests. How can you control house sparrows? I find trapping house sparrows to be the best method of controlling their numbers so that native birds can nest successfully. Trapping with nest box traps combined with repeating baited traps can be used successfully to control house sparrows. When you remove a pair of house sparrows from the population, you are also removing their offspring as well. Each year, house sparrows may produce up to four broods of five offspring. That is two parents and 20 offspring that will not compete with native birds in the future. If you put up nest structures for bluebirds, tree swallows, or purple martins, be prepared for house sparrows usurping the nest sites from the native birds. What effect do house sparrows have on native birds? Every time a pair of house sparrows prevents a pair of native birds from nesting, they reduce the native bird's population and increase the house sparrow population. If native birds aren't raising young, their population will continue to fall. House sparrows compete mostly with bluebirds, tree swallows, and purple martins. If you put up nesting structures for these birds, expect house sparrow competition. Allowing house sparrows to nest in nest boxes and purple martin structures allows their population to increase at the detriment of the native birds. Let me share some of my experiences. I've witnessed house sparrows destroying eggs of bluebirds, tree swallows, and great crested flycatchers. In all cases, they prevented the native birds from nesting. 
I trap and eliminate house sparrows every year in my yard using repeating baited traps and nest box traps. In the first year of trapping them, I removed 80 from my yard. A few years later, I only had to trap 10. Trapping really can help control their population. I've had bluebirds and great crested flycatchers nest successfully in my yard every year since I started trapping. On the farm, the tree swallows and bluebirds are found where there were previously only house sparrows. In closing, I have some questions for you. Do you live in a location where house sparrows are introduced? What bird species do they compete with where you live? Do you control their numbers? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. I hope this video was informative and helped explain the effects the house sparrow has on native birds. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Please share this video with others and give it a thumbs up. Hi, it's Jeff with Backyard Birds. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.